Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The name is Harry Wolf. Say it twice and you'll say it twice. I'm back again today with another brand new episode. This is part two of my little foray into Redux. Today in particular, we'll be talking about combined reducers, a built-in utility function provided by Redux to enable your Redux applications reducers to scale to a large size. So first things first, what is combined reducers? I'm so glad that you asked. Combined reducers is this nice little function that lets you create a larger reducer comprised of multiple reducers. Essentially what it lets you do, so in the example we have before from my previous video, you make one reducer that has just one state. And the problem with that is I can certainly add more switch statements to this function, but that does not really scale to a large application. Instead, what people do is you can use combined reducers. I'm actually going to show the use case down here. Uh, I'm going to go right here. New function. Uh, I'm going to show the use case. So uh, reducers equals combined reducers. And what this does, it takes an object where the keys are namespaces of splices of your reducer store. So what the heck does that mean? Uh, so the keys are here and the value is the reducer function. So it's going to be like that. And for our use case, let's make another reducer. I'm going to call it um, hungry because I'm always hungry. Uh, action state, uh, I'm going to say by default, I'm hungry is true. I'm going to do another switch statement. I'm going to say action type on the case that I, uh, that I eat, then I am uh, not hungry anymore. And then in the case that I exercise, then I am hungry again. And then of course, by default, I return state. So I can take this hungry and put it right down this. Now this, these are essentially the same thing. This is, you know, ES6 syntax to make it the same key and value. So what this means is I can take this combined reducers and put it into my store here. Now, when I dispatch my actions, it'll actually dispatch that action to all the reducers inside of here, splicing it up according to the key. So what does that actually look like? So let's actually make the combined reducers function. And we'll do reducers. And what combined reducers returns is another function, which is ultimately the reducer function that's given to the Redux store. So we're going to, we're going to return here another function. And then what we're going to do is actually iterate. And this function that's being returned takes in, of course, an action and state. And this is the action and state that's normally being given to the reducer itself. But now we kind of have like a wrapper around multiple reducer functions. So to iterate over all the reducers being given, we're going to go object.keys on reducers. We're going to say for each reducer key. And we're going to then take slices of this global state object and pass it to each part of the reducer function. So what does that mean is that we have state reducer key. So we're only updating a part of the state according to the key in that combined reducers config objects that we gave it. Uh, so we'll keep going. So we have reducers, reducer key. Remember that this is now going to be a function. And then we're going to pass in the action, vanilla. And then the state is actually going to be the slice of the store state object that's of the combined reducers. So that looks like a uh, state reducer key like that. So what does this look? So what this looks like so I mean, down here, we're going to return state. So this is the reducer function. Just rename it to make it a little bit easier to read. Then we have the slice state, this. And then we have to then update it on that key. And then just to be careful, we're also going to have a default value of an empty object for the first time that things are ran. So let's just get rid of 
all this. So now if I dispatch up, it's going to then hopefully show the right value. And it does. So you can see here the key of the reducer that we, this is the key of that slice reducer and that's the value. And this is the other key of that other value. Type up is actually being dispatched to all the reducers in that tree, so in that in that key. So for example, I could actually go here and actually put into here up and say hungry is still true and now I'm thirsty true. Thirsty true. So you can see that I can actually have both reducers respond to the same action type. And of course I can go on here and do uh, type uh, eat. This should say hungry as false to be able to combine those things together. And this is a way that you can actually just easily expand your Redux store with more reducer functions and have that scale easily. So we're down here. So you can actually have as many of these as you want. You can even have one of these functions also be a combine, combine reducers key as well to actually further nest your large state object. Very helpful for a large Redux application. Uh, not too hard to code yourself. There's definitely some more things provided by Redux itself for this, but I just want to kind of show you what's going on underneath the hood when you actually use combined reducers. Hopefully that made sense. I'll be interested to hear your comments about it in the comment section below. These concepts are dense, and I wouldn't be surprised if I need to do some follow-up to further elaborate on what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, do become one. This is a great community of people learning JavaScript and front end. I also have a newsletter and Patreon, and I'm always on Twitter. You know, the internet. Uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you again next week with a brand new video.